your best asset for authentic marketing for your professional services firm is yourself. I've been following many conversations on the topic of marketing for professional services business, and I am noticing how everyone is recognizing that our business world is so overwhelmed, so cluttered with information that is now powered and sent by more and more machines, more and more algorithms. Automation is not a new thing in this world. It has been on going on for a long time now, but now it has gone to proportions that we can't bear anymore. We have a hard time differentiating or figuring out how to align with our audience. And in this world, I am very happy to notice that still there is room for things like an email list written by an actual person. And it actually hides another good news, which is that it has never been so easy to tap into your heart, your spirits, your personal voice, your authentic thoughts to craft and explore collaboratively with your audience, your thoughts. So there are so many ways for you to cut through the noise now, to just launch uh, an email list. Um, take a tool like a Substack, for, ex for example. I, I just opened an, a Substack account uh, not very long ago, and I'm exploring the idea of uh, starting sending my emails from Substack because it's so easy and it seems to get people, artists, thinkers, writer closer to the audience because it combines the power of, of emails and also comments and reaction that are features that you find on social media. So I find it fascinating that in an era where things become so automated, dry, cold, powered, driven, taken over by machines, there is actually the, uh, the resurgence, the rise of a whole movement of people who decide to uh, spend authentic time to be more vulnerable, share their thoughts, share, share their thinkings, and really standing out in a very uh, crowded market. This is refreshing news to me. I have been publishing multiple times a week now for a few years. And people ask me, so what has it done for you? How many leads have you obtained? How many, what conversions have you had? I think that uh, for me, it has not only been very productive in, in terms of relating to my audience and connecting with people, but also figuring out what is it that I think and evolving the alignment between what I do, what I think, how I work, how I operate with my purpose and my personal intentions. So it, it, this is another benefit of, of, this, of this approach of authentic, meaningful content publication. I've been talking about in uh, previous videos and I have a, also a course for this. So, but my point here is to highlight, highlight a possibility to look at uh, writing meaningful publication uh, in a way that still works. And it actually works better than before, I believe that uh, if you really put the time in to start something simple, to invite people to comment and to construct expertise with you, not just show up as the expert that knows it all, but somebody who is willing to uh, bring in the power of questions, bring in the curiosity, bringing the open-mindedness, the vulnerability in their writing to ask questions that they don't have answers to, and inviting, therefore, an audience to contribute to common knowledge. I feel like this is one of the most powerful strategies to get noticed, to cut through the noise, and to generate opportunities to connect with your authentic and ideal audience. There's a lot of thoughts in this video. There is a lot of layers through this. And I hope that it's just uh, this is just a call for you to Try something simple. Uh, bring down all of your expectation. Rethink the way we publish our thoughts, our ideas from something that is very highly um, productized, uh, very polished, to something that feels and looks more like public journaling, thinking in public, 
being a bit unsure about what we're about to to say or but just just going for it and trying to explore what is behind some of the of the ideas i practice this every day every day no matter what i will show up here in front of you on that youtube channel and i do this because i believe in the power of emergence instead of the power of planning everything i believe in spontaneity authenticity i believe in the life we infuse in our businesses i believe that if you do this you will turn your business into a source of inspiration that few can resist so why don't you go ahead and try something similar to that format i know you've been waiting for a while now i know that it has crossed your mind but you kind of hesitated maybe this video is um for you a message that validates what you were thinking why don't you pick a day of the week to just say hey every tuesday every wednesday whatever the day i'm going to just share my thoughts just the way i am authentically i'm just going to show you how i think give you a sample for how i think how i look at your situation how i look at your problem and i'm just going to try to frame it in a way that is valuable what is the minimum amount of value that i can bring to you in a short video in a short article in a show in a short social media post after all we're just humans trying to connect with other humans so why wouldn't we start with this instead of tr of thinking about funnel and sequences and automation and triggers and and things that feel that you know it belongs to uh, big machines. I think that those mechanisms work really well for incumbents in the market, well-established companies, big, large organizations, large consulting firms, large engineering firms that want to sustain a, pre a presence um, on autopilot, if you will. But if we combine this with the power of authentic relationship, authentic connections, we discover that we can regain control, we can regain a connection with who we are and the purpose of why we do the work that we do and therefore connect with the hearts and minds of the people that care about the work that we do. If you're a coach, if you're a consultant, if you are a marketing agency, if you're an engineering agency, a data visualization, data crunching, or you name it, you work with people. So the basis of your business relies on your ability to create those connections. And your marketing is the place to do that. And your leadership is what fuels this marketing. So don't hide behind all of those automation sequences funnel that I just talked about. Just don't, don't just do that. Show up as you are. There, there has never been such an easier, better, uh, more suited time to do this. Your voice matters. Your voice matters more than before because you can shape the conversation through a frame and a narrative that makes your work just unique and uniquely yours. Now. How do you discover it? How do you know that you are authentically speaking to the right audience? Well, you just show up every day. There is no other way. Nobody can tell you what to do. There is no way to predict it. But if you just show up every day with your authentic self, like you're warm, you're, you're yourself, you're candid, maybe you're rough around you, whatever style you want, you will build a point of view. You will build a perspective, you will, be, you will be able to style that differentiates you from anybody else. Why? Because there is only one of you, one of you. So how do we call this? Human to human marketing? I think that concept already exists, but maybe it's what it means. I, I, have, I didn't research it, it just came to my mind. Someone told me about this concept. Human to human marketing, heart to heart marketing, energy to spirits marketing. Marketing is an exploration. So go ahead and try and let me know how this works for you. Start your email list, start your YouTube channel, start your 
your social media presence today, but show up as you are. Ask candid questions, ask vulnerable questions, share some some authentic thoughts with people and wait for people to uh, welcome people's reaction, welp- welcome people's pushbacks, questions, comments, and create those connections that will grant your business with stronger narrative power than any other business. Good luck.